Hello! Today we'll be showing you how to create a Google Doc workspace. The first thing you do to create a new workspace is to go to the new button in the top left hand corner, click on Google Docs, and since this folder is shared with another person, it always asks me if I understand that it will be shared since it is in the same folder. And I'm going to click OK because that's OK with me. OK. So now we are going to see, you will see the new workspace, the new Google Doc. And there are several things that I want to explain to you in this workspace. Here is the menu bar. I will explain each of these. First, there's the file bar, and this just gives you options for what to do with your Google Docs file. There are several things that you can do. For instance, you can print the file, and you will see that it brings up a menu to print and it gives me all of these options for what I can do with the print. I'm going to cancel that. Also, another thing I can do is create a new file, a new document, a new spreadsheet, a new presentation, or I can rename whatever my document is. I'm going to call this an interactive document just for the purposes of this midterm. Okay, so now that is saving. The next menu I have is the edit menu. Now under the edit menu, this allows you to edit anything that you've done while you've been editing the Google Doc. So you can undo, which is reverse an action. So I'll show you that. I'm going to type cat, and then I'll edit it, and I'll undo, and then it will delete it. I can also redo, and that will just bring back what I had just undo, undid. I'm going to delete that right now. The next menu button we have is the View button. Clicking on that, you can see that it just shows you the options that you have for what you want to be viewing while you are in the document. For instance, you can click Show Ruler and the ruler will go away. But if you click again on show ruler, the ruler is back up. Another option you have is to go to the mode and you can see what mode you're in. So for instance, I'm in the edit mode. I can edit this document in any way. If I go back and go to a different mode, I can be in the just viewing the document mode so I cannot edit it, or I can be in the suggesting mode so that I can type suggestions for the author. Suggestions. And then the author can see what suggestions I have and, add, and choose to add them with the check mark or delete them with the rejection mark. So I'm going to back track to the editing mode where I was in the first place. The next menu I have is the insert menu. This just gives you options for what you can insert into the document. For instance, you can insert a table. You can choose what dimensions you want the table, which is great. You can also insert a page number onto the document. So you can do it one, two in the top right hand corner or in the bottom right hand corner. Just different options you have for the page numbers. And that is the insert menu. The next menu we have is the format menu. And this just gives you options for how you want to format the document itself. So you can do several things with the text. So I'm going to have some text here. This, this is text. Okay, and I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to go to the format and I'm going to click bold. 
This allows you to bold the text. I'm going to go back to format and I'm going to italic. This makes the text curved and italicizes it. And then if I click the two again, bold and italic, it will transform the text back to its original state. The next button, the next menu button we have is tools. If we go to tools, tools are just options we have and as it says, tools, resources that you can use while you are in your document. For example, I can choose to define the word text. So I will go highlight text, go to define, and in the top or in the right hand side of the document, you can see that Google Docs has allowed me with has given me a definition for the word text. And that is just one option that Tools offers. Tools also offers a word count. So it will show me how many words I have on the page. Obviously, I only have three right now, and I have one word highlighted out of three. And it shows me how many characters I have and characters excluding spaces. So just as it shows. So those are some tools I have. The next menu option is table. Table allows you to insert a table and then all of the options you have with the table. So I'm going to insert a table and for this presentation, I will do a four by three table. And as you can see, it has inserted four columns and three rows. This is exactly what I wanted. So I will go back to table and I can delete a row. I just deleted a row. I can also insert a column to the left. So those are two examples of what you can do under the menu bar of table. The next menu is add-ons. And with add-ons, there are several things you can do. You can add more features to the Google Docs. You can manage them. Just make it more of a scene like this. You can add translations. Um, table of contents, just different things that you can do with your document to just enhance it. For instance, you can have a calculator, you can have music notations, there are several things that you can do with add-ons. The next menu button is help. Now help is just as it says, it offers assistance to um, the user so that they know they can understand completely what they're doing. Under help, you can report a problem with the Google document or the Google use, provide feedback to Google. You can also get keyword shortcuts and it offers you shortcuts to make it easier for the user when they are using Google Docs. So that is the menu that I have just described. The next thing I will describe is the toolbar. This is the toolbar, and I'm going to describe five buttons on the toolbar. The first button I'm going to describe is the print button. The print button is, as it says, it is so you can print the document. Okay, I'm going to cancel that. The next button you can choose is to change the font size. This changes the font size of the text. So you can change it to however big or small that you want it. The next button is the center align. You can align text in the center, the left, the right, several ways that you can align text. The third button I am going to demonstrate is the normal text. You can do different types of text. You can have headings, subtitles, all that fun stuff. The last one I'm going to describe is the text color. You can make the text different colors. 
Now I'm going to show you how to add comments to your Google Doc. Comments allow viewers to make annotations, write suggestions, write questions, write any thoughts they have for the author of the document. To write a comment, the viewer must go to this tool in the toolbar, click add a comment, and then they can type whatever they think. So I'm going to say, this is my comment. I'm going to comment. And then the author of the document can go and reply to the comment, resolve the comment, all sorts of great things. This allows for increased collaboration. This can be used between teacher, teachers and students. A teacher can edit a student's paper using this and add comments so the teacher and the student can discuss the paper. That's comments. Now I am going to describe how you edit the background of this workspace. In order to edit the background, a user will go to File, go down to Page Setup. Now the user can choose how they would like to set up their Google Doc. The user can either have a portrait size orientation of the document or landscape. I'm going to change to landscape for the purpose of this demonstration. I'm also going to change the page color of this document. By doing that, I will click on this and I can see a variety of colors. I'm going to choose purple and I'm going to click OK. Now you can see I have changed the background of my workspace. Now, in order to save my document, one would typically think I would have to click a button, but on Google Drive, Every document, slide, form is saved in the drive. As you can see right here, all changes saved in the drive. And every change you make is automatically saved in the drive, which is really nice because if your computer crashes, your changes are saved and you do not have to worry that you did not press that save button. In order to share this document, I would click in the top right hand corner, click share, and I will click up, look up this, and you can either share a link with whoever you want to share the document with, copy and embed it or paste it in another area, and you can change it so anyone with the link can edit the document, comment on the document, or view the document. I'm going to leave it as it is, or you can enter the email addresses of anyone you want to share this document with. I have already shared it with the instructor of this course, and I can type other people that I would like to have access to this document. I can allow them to either edit, comment, or view, or just view the document. More advanced options for sharing. You can. This is a link you can also share for the document. I can make this document public for anyone on the web. I can also change that so that anyone with a link has access or no one has access. And I can also, again, invite people to have access to my document. Now, this is a Google Docs workspace. I have explained how to use Google Docs and how to use the workspace for this midterm. Thank you for watching.